You can do it. We are going to fix this today. There is hope for you. A career in the arts is always risky, but there are ways you can maximize your potential for success. This artist has made the unfortunate decision to build sculptures out of dead body parts. This is an even worse idea if those dead body parts are obtained from a cemetery, because since the corpses are embalmed and sealed in airtight caskets, they're basically human pickles and quite difficult to work with. Dedicating yourself to an art form is a grave undertaking. Select one that will not leave you with a clinging odor that is bound to be detrimental to your social status. I'm Dr. Torper. Stay in contact with the infinite. Welcome to Torper Torpum's Infinite Top 40. I'm spinning stacks of wax, playing sound by the pound, and watching the records go round. Ooh, I am getting dizzy. I'm too busy to be dizzy, though. Weighing in at number six, I'm counting down the hits. Is that motorhead Chance Winstead doing She Rolls? My baby, she rolls and rolls and rocks whenever she walks. My baby, she rocks. And rolls and rocks whenever she talks. My baby's a rock and roll and tip. Woo! Dig that wild percussion. Einster Zen Neubauten, you are forgotten. John Cage is in a rage. Philip Glass fell on his couch and said, Ouch! What a grouch. But this will cheer him up. At number five, direct from the beyond, is a groovy instrumental called Looking for Some Body from the head on a platter orchestra. This will make you lose your mind and whatever you carry it in. What a happening scene, man. I'm ready to break the safety seal and flip my lid. I'm taking the pills, not ready to chill, drinking the swill, and looking for a thrill. And this is a thrill for you, Arch Hall Jr. Doing what he did before, coming through the door at number four with a little melody called Valerie. If I had a thousand paintings in a marble Every single picture would be a Valerie. Wasn't that lovely? That big cat with the club? That was Arch Hall Jr.'s manager. He's saying, don't give it all away now, save some for later. Leave him wanting a little more, not wishing you would stop. In other words, shut up! <laughs> now, I'm not gonna shut up, I'm gonna keep talking because this is for all of you cool ghouls in the classroom. Don't forget to brush your teeth now. It's the ghoul in school. Next time, that chick better take her dog to the vets for his shots. Hoo -hoo. Oh man, it's the station manager, otherwise known as the big boss man. He's always a kick. Hey, big daddy, what's the lowdown from uptown? Topper, what the hell are you doing in that studio? Your show sounds like a troop of baboons tap dancing on a corrugated metal shed. You know what that sound is? You hear that? You know what that sound is? That's the sound of radios being turned off all over the country right now. <laughs> That's a good one. Glad you like it, boss. 
He cracks me up out of sight. But I tell him he needs to tone it down because he, people won't know when he's serious. But I'm totally serious about Chance Winstead, who's on the charts again. He's burning rubber and peeling out, this time singing, Laugh, children, laugh. And the Lord said, Laugh, children, laugh. 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 Were you laughing, kids? Because that song was killing me. <laughs> well, you know, I'm starting to feel a major bummer, like a negative vibe. It's all this competition. Who's first? Who's second? What's most popular? What's selling the most? Who's making the most bread? Such a drag. Strap yourself in and hang on. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The numero uno, the tippity tip top of the infinite top 40. Time to bop till you drop and it ain't never gonna stop. Lay it on me. It is by Kaiju Lu and the Wrecking Crew, Gamera. that crazy new dance. It just came from outer space and it's catching on all over the place. The Gamera Stomp. Move your feet to the Gamera Beat. It's really hot. <laughs> Dr. Torper, putting you wise to the heavy rap of my main man, Root Boy Slim. And I quote, put a quarter in the juke, boogie till you puke. <laughs> and stay in contact with the infinite. Welcome to Dr. Torper's Theater of Fate. We're going to an opera house. We're going to meet the Phantom. He's a murderer. He's a terrorist. And he has an exquisite singing voice. But the Tarot has revealed that he has embarked on a plan of self-defeat. And Dr. Torper is opposed to self-defeat. So let us see if we can guide him to a better path. No, 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 no. As if strangling people and dropping a chandelier on an audience isn't bad enough. Now he's kidnapped this woman. He doesn't even know her. She doesn't know him at all. And he thinks he's in love with her. But you mortals, you do the same thing, don't you? You meet someone, you don't know them. They don't know you. You feel instant attraction. You hear birds singing, you see stars twinkling, you hear bells ringing, you feel tingly all over. Don't you know those are actually warning signs to run like hell? <laughs> this serves as a warning to all never enter into any kind of relationship concealing a part of yourself that will easily be discovered. He's also sexually frustrated, spending too much time alone playing with his organ.
He reminds me of the Bumble from Rudolph. <laughs> The Phantom feels contempt for other people and disgust for the things they like. He wants to mock them and make fun of the things they enjoy. You know someone like that, don't you? On the other hand, he wants to remind us of something we desperately try to keep out of our minds, our imminent mortality. But there's a time and a place you don't bring up Someday we're all going to die at a baby shower. <laughs> Did we just pick up the Jerry Springer show? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. The Phantom desperately needs to use his head. He just can't get it through his ossified, thick, bony skull membrane that this woman is not interested in him. Instead, he does this cat thing. The great Dr. Torper has failed. I have had no effect on changing him off this course of self-defeat and folly that he's on. But I do give him an A plus for misguided persistence. He has put so much into this folly, he won't stop. And all he's doing is compounding his errors. Here is a lesson for all of us. It is better to accept the loss than to add to it and make it worse. Chilly, the Phantom meets a terrible end. But I was so impressed the way he pretended that he had some sort of explosive or dangerous object in his hand, and then showed that it was nothing and laughed in the face of death. I admire that kind of bravado when all is hopeless. And that scene when the Phantom is beaten to death, clubbed and thrown into the water to die, the Phantom was a very bad person and did many evil things. But that is such a brutal scene, it's hard not to feel sorry for him. Which is something to remind us all, as Friedrich Nietzsche said, Beware in fighting monsters, lest ye become one yourself. I hope you were able to take something away from this misadventure. This is Dr. Torper saying good fright and stay in contact with the infinite.